One of the first things you'll probably note about desferrin is that its vaporizer is different to the others. And that is because desferrin's physical properties mean that it needs to be pressurized and heated in a Tech 6 vaporizer in order to be safely delivered to the patient. It has an oil gas partition coefficient of 19, and so it's far less potent than isoflurin and sevoflurin, with a MAC of 6.6. However, its blood gas partition coefficient is 0.4, which is very low, meaning its onset and offset is very, very rapid. This makes it very useful for maintaining anesthesia in prolonged procedures, particularly in patients with high BMIs. Only 0.02% of it is metabolized, and so it has very minimal toxic potential. However, at very low fresh gas flows and over a prolonged period of time, it has been shown to react with sodalime to produce carbon monoxide. Cardiovascularly, it reduces myocardial contractility and also systemic vascular resistance, so you'll likely notice a decrease in blood pressure and a rise in heart rate. In terms of respiratory effects, it causes upper airway irritability and breath holding, so it's certainly unsuitable for gas inductions. It also reduces tidal volumes, so you might notice a compensatory rise in respiratory rate. And it also increases cerebral blood flow and reduces the cerebral metabolic rate for oxygen. In terms of GU effects, it also reduces uterine tone.